What's up, all of you bass players out there? I've got a couple of little tips I want to share with you tonight. What do you do when you're playing a song and you don't know the song? Maybe you're sitting in. Let's say you're in a worship set and you're sitting in, right? And there's these changes in a song and you're like, hey, I don't even know this song. You know what's going on right now? What do you do to make it sound like you kind of know what you're doing when you don't, right? <laughs> now, God forbid you find yourself in these types of situations in 2022. But if you do, let me help you find a way to fake it until you make it. So let's say we're in the key of G. Right, there's our key. And let's say we've got this progression. So you got that here. Right. And let's say you're playing this part of the song and you, you get there, you're in the progression on the four. And you don't know what happens next to get back to the, the top of the progression again. So you don't want to stop playing. You don't want to be playing. So let's just say you didn't know this, but it'll make more sense for me to teach it backwards so you can kind of see where I'm getting this from. Let's say this was the progression. Let's say the progression was four, five, and two, three, four. I don't think this is anybody's song right now. So, hey, I'm making it up. If you write something to it, let's get that publishing work done. I'm with BMI. Let's make it happen. So, four, so and let's say the melody. But you don't know that that two, three, four walk up is about to happen. And you don't want to just sit there and look dumb. And you don't want to just stop playing for a second because then people know you're making a mistake. They know, like, oh, he doesn't know what to do. So you got to make it sound like you know what to do even when you don't know what to do. That's the key. So here's a few things you can do. Number one, let's say you don't know the progression, but you do know the melody. Let's say, oh, I, I remember hearing this song. I just, I never played it, so I don't really know the progression, but I know the melody line. Here's an easy way to get out. What you're going to do is you're going to play the melody on the part you don't know and listen to what it should be. So the next time it comes around, you know what to play. So let's say the melody was. Let's say the melody was. Right. Okay, cool. Hey, I wrote that. Now, while you were playing that, you were listening to what the real progression is, and you heard, oh, it was so oh, that you dun, 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 dun. you heard a two, so two, three, four. Now you know it. So the first time you get there, dun, 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 dun. ah, you learned it, and everybody's like, oh my goodness, he's killing, and you're like. Ooh, I faked it. Now I know what to play next time. And they're going to be like, no, no, I knew what you were doing before. <laughs> Sometimes it happens like that. So that's one of the things you can do. What's another thing you can do? Let's say you didn't even know the melody. You're just playing these numbers. And you're like, what in the world do I do, right? I don't know the melody. You can play um, just a default, like kind of just everyday bass line, fill in line, like something basic pentatonic, no crazy rhythm, just straight ahead, filling in. Um, and again, same thing. You're going to just play something that just kind of fills in that gap so you can hear what you're supposed to do. Now, again, you want to know how the song goes, but this is like, they threw you into the fire. You didn't get a chance. They're like, hey, we're doing this song, by the way. Here it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're in there. like just a basic running bass line that's it's since it's like straight rhythm da da one da 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 you're right there within that little six eight triplet pattern um or sixteenth pattern over that six eight feel um so what that that would be like one to la to lita if you count that system some people use different syllables so down While I was playing that, I was listening to it. two, three, four. Now, the first time, they're going to be like, okay, that's cool. But next time, do those hits with us, you know. 
they don't know you didn't know it. You learned it because you played something to cover up. So those are a couple of things you can do. Um, and there's some other stuff that you can do too. This video is already too long. I just want to throw a few tips out there. Hey, take what you can out of that. I've got some more things I'll throw out there if you want to know. If you want to know, ask in the comments, follow. I'll keep throwing out some little nugget lessons like this. I'm going to get back to my practicing on the floor and I will see y'all later.